hello guys welcome back to another video of the Comptronical. in this video i'm going to explain you how to select proper mcb rating for your three phase load in the previous video i've explained you how to select proper mcb rating for your home that is which is single phase load so let's move on if you have more load and using three phase system of power supply so how to calculate this mcb rate so for example take just load profile you have fans ac washing machine bulbs and submersible motor tv fridge iron geyser mix mixer etc and you have voltage of each and every equipment like this so the total voltage if you consider it would be 16570 like ac is taking 2000 watt uh, and fans is 80 watt bulbs are 15 and submersible pump is uh, around 5 sp which around uh, it would be if you convert 5 sp to kilo it will be around 3.73 for the purpose of around figuring I, I took 4 kilowatts so likewise total wattage is your 3 16,570 watts so like 16.5 kilowatts so for three phase power like I just remind you for single phase power we have P is equal to VI cos 5 when the three phase power comes you, you will have root 3 VI cos 5 so from where the root 3 has come what is its significance we will explain it separately because it will take more times this so i wanted you to explain very quickly so just uh, p is equal to root 3 vi cos 5 so put your power here and root for root 3 1.73 and for three phase voltage we have phase to phase voltage for 15 volt and for power factor because we have some inductive load like we're using motor and uh, something heating equipment also so we'll just take cos 5 it's 0 0.5 so i is equal to we'll get after calculating 25.64 amps so we need need here three three phase ncb so 25.64 is not available in the standard rating in india so you have to go for higher rating which is 32 amps so 32 amps will be perfect mcb for you for your three phase load so thanks for watching please and please do subscribe my channel and please do subscribe for more such videos thank you